What I'm describing for you is the evolution of this device here. And notice that it's connected through this here power cord. This 5 volt supply here. So if I plug it into this uninterruptible power supply, you can see that it's deriving power off of it. And just to be consistent, let me remove this uninterruptible power supply from the wall. You'll notice it'll start beeping because that's telling me that it's now creating 110 volts internally using batteries. So I still got this powered up by this 5 volt supply here. If you need to know more information about this device, this is the schematic in its little user manual, some of the information about it, and you can also communicate via TerraTerm RS-232 through this port right down here. Notice that this computer, it's not connected, but I could connect this here and communicate to this device through RS-232. So this has a companion device which is over here. And this companion device you can connect through this wire all through here, around this way, right here. I can connect this. Okay. Now if I push the reset button, which is located over here, then it's the same thing as cycling power. So if I push this button, now what you can observe is the companion is, if you're not probably stepping on the cord, the companion is, it's actually reading the source and when it gets around count 32, you can see here that it's lit up, okay? So what we're doing is we're transferring energy from this source here over to the companion over there. And what you saw a moment ago is these lights illuminating in response to this source cycling through its different frequencies. Now I'm going to show you the sort of interesting part. The reason I invented these devices is because they're a miniature version of this device. This device can be purchased from Dr. Mile. And let me turn off this beeping and plug this back in. The source device is still powered. And let me just turn off the source device. There we go. No power. Okay? Now watch what I'm going to do. This device, which I've scaled it down to this size from here to here, using components from Dr. Mile. You can see his kit is here. There's some of the various circuit boards that he sold me and stuff. So this is the companion for follow this wire here for this one. This transmitter I'm going to now turn on. So turn on the scope. I have a generator running. This is uh, see this generator is currently set to about seven and a half seven megahertz. This generator is connected to this amplifier. This amplifier is connected to this power supply. So this here generator at 7 megahertz will go into this amplifier, which is now powered up, out of the amplifier, into this source. So, watch what happens when I turn up the power. You can see over there, here goes. Did you see that? I just turned the power up on this. I'm delivering power here. 
which is somehow going down this one wire. It's illuminating this bulb, which is just an ordinary 35 watt, 120 volt lamp. If I touch this, I'll burn myself. This is very hot. But why is this one on? So, let's look at this a little more. Hmm, why is this on? I already unplugged it from the power source here. The power source is unplugged. Well, why don't I unplug this from... Okay, why is that on? Okay, now, this is on. Okay, fine. Let's, let's go with this. Let's connect this. So you know it's more brighter when I bring it closer? Okay. Now, the sort of confounding part is if I connect this back to here. Now when I move this farther away, now they're... So you're observing wireless power transfer. Now, let me tune it a little better. I'm going to adjust the frequency over here with this knob such that that becomes more brilliant. And you can see as I adjust this power, this frequency on this end, over there we've got a response. So that's the peak response. Do that again. Okay. I'm adjusting the frequency of the transmit. You can see that there is a maximum, and if I set it to the maximum power illumination, it's over here about 7 megahertz. And if you're interested, you could see it on the scope, the waveform. I can turn this down to stop having so much distortion coming out of the amplifier, and it's still lit up over there. This is running at uh, about 14 watts on this end. See, so 1 amp and 15 volts on this. So maybe the efficiency is 30%. Maybe you have 5 watts available over here. So that 5 watts is somehow powering that over there and the companion to the smaller scale device I made. 